daycare providers and their clients are out money because Belchami County's child care assistance program fell victim to the government shutdown. Jenny Day tells us about the many unanswered questions that still exist despite the proposed budget resolution. Amber Newell is a full-time mom who's relied on child care assistance from the county for the past four years. So when legislators didn't meet deadline, she had to scramble and come up with an extra $125 a week. That's like $500 every month extra that I needed to come up with to pay out of pocket or I had to pull my son out of daycare. With that not being an option, Newell kept her full-time job but has had to change what her hard-earned money will go toward. The only way that I was able to do it or be able to do it is from my tax return last year that I've been saving for my wedding this year. And when the parents are scraping to make ends meet because their budgets changed overnight, it also affects the daycare provider. Nicole Feta has lost a considerable amount because of the shutdown. For the last two weeks, it's about $997. Out of the 10 kids Feta watches in a day, seven rely on county assistance. The people that are on assistance really need it. If I don't have them, then I don't have a job either. Jesse Eichstead is another face representing the 9,000 low-income families in the state who didn't receive county funding in the last two weeks. It gets hard when you tell your kids, no, you can't buy that dollar Hot Wheel because you don't have the money. Like Newell, Eichstead is a full-time mom and full-time employee yes, who had to scrape to find funding when already living paycheck to paycheck. It's not a free handout. You know, we have to prove that we're working and that we do need this. The court orders didn't initially have child care assistance included in the services deemed essential. Since then they have, but still many families are wondering if they'll be reimbursed by the state. If that is the outcome, there's not really anything I can do. I'm just going to have to pay it and spend a little less on my wedding. So while these working moms have been able to tighten their budgets, it looks like the state is close to doing so as well. Jenny Day, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.